the Joe Rogan experience? First of all, let me, let me explain the hierarchy of the clan. Okay. Okay. Today, there is no such thing as the Ku Klux Klan. All right. Um, there used to be. There, today, there are many Ku Klux Klan groups, and they all are autonomous. They use the same name, Ku Klux Klan. You might have the Dixie Knights of the Ku Klux Klan, the uh, Confederate Knights of the Ku Klux Klan, the Rebel Knights, on and on and on. These are all separate Ku Klux Klan groups. They believe in the same ideology. They wear the same colors on their robes that designate their rank. Uh, they have the same secret handshake. The same. What's the secret handshake? Just oh, in I, case. I, I, somebody... I'll show it to you. <laughs> can I do it later? Yeah, yeah, we'll do it later. <laughs> oh, we can't tell people in case somebody <laughs> shakes their hand they don't even know? Yeah, I can't reveal clan secrets. <laughs> oh, okay. Serious but, stuff. Uh, oh, yeah. Uh, same passwords, everything. They have passwords? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Hilarious. And, and, okay, understand, uh, the clan was formed in 1865 at the end of the Civil War. And it was formed by, uh, by six uh, Confederate soldiers um, who were of Irish and Scottish descent. And what they did was they borrowed uh, the, the rituals or similar rituals and names and uh, mystery from the Scottish Rite, the Masons. You know, grand this mm, and all that kind of stuff. Wizards and shit. Exactly, precisely. Don't they have dragons? Yep, yep. Okay, so here's how the hierarchy works. All right, so like I said, over the years, Central split apart into different splinter groups of clan. So, and they all are rivals with each other. If you see a couple of different clan groups out in public, they will hold a, a uh, you know unified front. But behind closed doors, they don't like each other. Really? Yeah. You know, you know we're, we're a real clan. You know, you know, they're a wannabe clan. Oh, that kind of thing. That kind a lot of, thing. of com- competition kind of thing. Because they may have been in the same clan at one time and something happened. Somebody embezzled some clan dues or didn't get promoted, you know, whatever. So anyway, if you have a chapter of your particular clan group in another state or in multiple states, you may then consider yourself or your group to be a national clan group. Therefore, you must have a national leader who oversees all the states in which you have a chapter of your particular group. So um, we call our national leader the president. In clan terminology, that person is known as the imperial wizard. Anybody who is, who is prefixed with the word imperial means that person is a national officer, wizard being the top. All right, so imperial wizard would be like a president, an imperial caliph would be like a vice president. And then you have secretaries, treasurers, whole nine yards. And then <clears throat> the next level down would be state, uh, the head of the state, which we call the governor. That person is known as a grand dragon. Anybody grand is on the state level, state officer, dragon being the top governor. A grand caliph would be like a lieutenant governor and then secretary, treasurer. And then within the state, you have counties. The county leader is known as the great titan. Anybody on the great level is, in the, is on the county level. Um, within the county, you have districts, what they call claverns, and we would call a district leader a mayor, a councilman, alderman. That individual is known as, a, uh, as an exalted cyclops. <laughs> <laughs> so exalted cyclops so if you would address them you would say sir exalted cyclops yeah, yeah. wow that's hilarious 